There's a uh, an offensive lineman, pretty good college offensive lineman named Lael Collins, who played down at LSU. Do you really know that? We've heard he is. LSU. Well, he was supposed to be a first round draft pick. Yeah, and the Broncos had him on their board in the yeah. first round. Um, he's well, in a bit of trouble. They took him down though before the draft. True. Or he's, X'd his name out. He's in a bit of trouble. Um, he uh, removed his name from the draft because he's he is being questioned by police. His girlfriend, a 29-year-old woman. I don't woman, think he removed it. You can't remove your name from the draft. You can't say, take me out of the draft. All right, what so he wanted to do was to be in the draft next, next year, year. Okay. or be in a supplemental draft. Okay. And they said no. So I don't, he didn't remove his okay, name. Okay, you, you could be right. But other teams removed him from their draft board because Lael Collins is being investigated um, or at least questioned concerning the death of a woman down in Louisiana a woman who used to be his girlfriend and was pregnant with, we believe, or police believe, his, was his child. Um, he's not a suspect in the death or the murder. He is um, not a person of, what's the word? Interest. A person of interest in the murder, but he is being questioned by police, so no NFL team touched him in the seven rounds of the draft. He is out there. He is unsigned. Rex Ryan is reported. The head coach of the Buffalo Bills went down to Louisiana to talk to him. And four Miami Dolphins, who all went to LSU and no Lael Collins, went down to Louisiana to talk to him. They all want to see what he has to say about the situation and whether or not he's interested in coming to their teams. How long do you think it'll be before Lael Collins is signed by a team out there? What has to happen before he's when signed? When the investigation's over with, when he agrees, you say he's talked to police. I don't know that he's talked to police yet. There has been no sighting of him at a police station. He's wanted for questioning. Not, police haven't said, uh, we want you. What he said was, I'll go in after the draft. Uh, it, that's what his attorney said. He hasn't said anything. He was in Chicago for the draft. You knew that, didn't you? Yes. So he didn't take his name out of the draft. He was there. I doubt that he was sitting at a front table in the green room when all of this actually came down. Uh, I hope no team signs him until let's get the matter resolved. If he is not a person of interest, if he's not a suspect, if he has no involvement, if the woman in question who died was the mother of his baby and the baby survived, yeah. uh, if that's his involvement, then I think teams will look at it. But okay. as long as there are questions out there, we're talking about murder. We're talking about Aaron Hernandez kind of stuff. You don't, nobody, well, that's the why Broncos, nobody, would touch nobody him, else yeah. should should have anything to do with him. Okay. And if players want to go talk to him, fine, go talk to him. Rex Ryan wants to go by and see him because Rex Ryan supposedly was down there. Maybe he was with his brother or something. Well, yeah, fine. If you want to do that, that's that's your own trouble. I don't want to talk to him. Okay, Let, let's say police question him. He's cleared. He's no longer involved in this investigation at all. Are, are, would you be in favor of the Broncos taking a look at him and even signing him? I mean, no, they still have no, a need they, for a right tackle. They, they still have already, a need for a left no, guard. No, no, no. They already did their deal. <laughs> they made their deal with the devil in whatever okay. case it might have been with Shane Ray. And so I think that's enough deals with the devil.